Hello everyone, yeah, yeah, this is Peter Desert the third again. Uh Twitchinishlinkinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashinashin
of December 31st, 2020. Again, this is the, co the public comment. Okay, it's asking, it's giving people a chance to say, this is how we want the money spent. I mean, a lot of time, a lot of times, you know, if it's for education, you know, that's a good one. Uh, you know, obviously, first responders, healthcare, any of those different places would be good. I mean, this is this is kind of like what what can we do with this money? Okay, keep that in mind. It's it's a comment period. I know I've said that a couple times. So emails. Remember, if you do send an email, you send it to comments at navajo dash nsn dot gov comments at navajo dash nsn dot gov or you can send by email actually it's uh, it's saturday so it might take some time for you to get it i wouldn't send it by by snail mail right now okay now they're asking for very specific details which is what happens you know whenever you see a legislation uh, they, they there's a link that you're supposed to click on to submit your comment. Okay, it says public comments on topics and other legislation legislation under consideration by the Navajo Nation Council may be submitted. Okay, so comments may be chapter resolutions, letters, position papers, written statements in the body of an email. I've submitted comments as well, just with a very regular email, and I send it to that email that I talked about earlier. Comments at Navajo dash nsn dot gov okay now whenever you do submit your comment make sure you put your name on it title or position if commenting as part of an organization or an entity okay mailing address for written comments okay don't worry about that because it is a bit too late so anonymous comments will not be included in the legislation packet so you do have to put your name on it okay so this is a chance for you to voice how this money should be spent okay and, and keep in mind, though, there are specific re requirements for how it's supposed to be done, okay? Comments on social media posts are not considered as part of the legislation process unless submitted through the above, basically the email at this point, okay? So I know everybody wants to go and make comments on Facebook, but you know what? This is your time to get out your laptop and send an email and, you know, voice your opinion on this, Okay. Voice your opinion. Uh, be pro this is one way we can be proactive as as Navajo citizens, Navajo citizens, as to how we want this six hundred million dollars spent. Okay. Now keep in mind. Remember, I said seven months. That's about eighty, about eighty-eight or ninety-three thousand, ninety-three million dollars per per month that needs to be spent for the you know for the duration of twenty twenty. Again, that's what Mart May. Uh, basically, May is actually we're halfway through May, so that's why it's basically going to be about a hundred million dollars per year because it's June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So um, you know that's that's quite a bit of quite a bit of money that is going to need to be spent. Um, it is right at a hundred million dollars. Okay, again, but keep in mind though, uh, this is definitely a time for you to. To voice your opinion for this money, I mean that's a lot of money if you really think about it. Uh, you know, it, it, you, if you think about the stimulus checks, the the twelve hundred dollar plus five hundred dollar per dependent, that was quite a. That's something that's never been done as well. Okay, and this is again this six hundred million dollars that was sent out, even though it was only eight percent of the money that was set aside from for tribal nations. It's it's still a significant amount of money that can. That can be used to help with this shutdown. With I mean, I, I honestly I've seen people put comment out there about if they divvy up the six hundred million dollars, uh, you know, to the Navajo citizens. Let me just put this out there. So maybe maybe this will. I'm I let me just say like a rough estimate of of um. So let me put six hundred million. Okay. 600 million divided by let's say 200 well let's say I think last I saw it was about 280,000 Navajos okay this is just an estimate so this comes up to about $2,142 if it was divvied among Navajos to help or e even okay so the, let's say that that was for all Navajos let's say there's only 170,000 Navajos who do live on who reside on the Navajo Nation 
since they're impacted by it, okay? So 600 million divided by, let's say, 175,000 Navajos who do live on the reservation. So that's $3,428. If it's, if it was, if it was split up like a, like a, like the stimulus check was, and that, that's for, I guess, all, all Navajo citizens, and I'm sure they'll have to do a CIB check. But I mean, keep in mind that is something, if you do live on the Navajo Nation, you've been impacted by it somehow, you know, either unemployment or you know, you're having a hard time getting to Gallup because of the shutdowns or because of the weekend. Some of you might not be working, but you know, this is your time again. Let me pull up that email again, that email for to submit your comment. Again, you have till Monday. I would just I would put it Monday like at 8 a.m. It's comments at Navajo-NSN.gov. Okay. You can't do paper mail or snail mail. So make sure you all go out and voice your opinion and comment on this. Thank you and have a good day. Hit